Hello, people of the YouTube. This is Cas Poop and Cas. Hello, people of the YouTube. This is Cas Poop and Cas and Bubba the YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to <coughs> um layer and blend images together um in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. What I'm going to be doing today is blending this picture of this honey badger's face onto Mickey Mouse. So, um, let's get started. The first thing you want, you're going to want to do is to actually download the pictures, um, either from a camera or like from the internet or something like that. And after you've done that, put them in here. Drag and drop would do best. And here we go. Would you want the thing you want to blend onto the background? This is going to be my background since I'm going to be blending its face onto Mickey Mouse. Um. You're going to want to click Image, Magic Extractor. Now you got this screen pop up. So there's the foreground brush, the background brush, and the map zoom tool. And there are other things that I don't know what to do with. All I know is that you need these things. So I'm going to zoom in. You don't have to zoom in for this. And, I'm, and since you're putting, um, and click the foreground brush. Sorry, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. You can edit the brush size to any way you want. Foreground color, background color. So since, just leave those to default if you want. And what you're going to want to do is just drag um, your and hold your mouse button over the outline of the area that you would like to put onto the background. Or whatever you're putting it onto. So here we go. Um, you can overlap a little bit because we can easily edit that out. But um, don't try not to get too crazy with your overlap. And then once you're here, you don't need to shade the whole thing in, but just draw a couple lines like so, just to let Adobe Photoshop know that you want this is what you want. And now you click your background brush, and it'll be blue. See and just outline around where you don't like where the you're gonna be editing so just outline here and this is actually what I am going to be using from now on and what I have just recently used with my most recent upload to um uh... for thumbnails this is what I'm gonna be using uh... you don't have to get it straight on you can go I guess kinda like outside it um, you can overlap with the red a little bit, but once you, because you can edit that out, but if you go too far in and don't overlap enough, then you can't get that back. So now you're going to do something similar to the outlining thing, and I'll do that in time lapse. Um, and once I'm done, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Um... And now, once you think you've got that done, you can click over here, you can click Preview, and just wait a couple seconds for the magic extractor to do, do its business. And now we're here. Excuse me. Um, so what you have here is what you're going to be moving, or whatever, and then your background. And if you see anything in your background that you don't want there, you just blew it out, and then click Preview again to see if it's gone. Um, if it doesn't go, go away, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> so, once you're satisfied with what you have, you click OK. And there we go. Now, we click the background. And you, well, I want to zoom in a little bit. Um, magnifying glass. Zoom in. Boop. Boop. Okay, that's good. Wait, I'll zoom out one more. Okay, there we go. Now, photo bin. Now, you just drag and drop the picture you just did onto the um, background. That's big. Um, I don't know if this is absolutely necessary, but just rename the layer by right clicking it and um, clicking rename layer, layer 01. And then click OK. Now what you want to do is um, first enhance the size to where you like. Um, I think this is pretty good for the Mickey Mouse's. This is not one of my best creations. 
My best creation so far is the snowman on Batman's head, which is amazing. Now, once you're satisfied, click the red, the green check mark, and click Add Layer Mask. So you just click Add Layer Mask, and you want the back. And over here, where it says color, you want the background to be white and the foreground to be black. And you can click your paintbrush to edit out the excess stuff. So just magnify to magnify in a little bit like that paintbrush there we go now I'm just going to erase the excess stuff that I don't really need okay now I don't know how to actually blend the colors I just know how to do this oh snap okay edit undo brush tool and you can always undo and redo so there we go um, and just edit all the mistakes you made or not mistakes or whatever that you don't want there um, and there we go I think I think this is looking pretty beautiful guys gotta say this is looking really beautiful now what the lip mask does is it allows you to use a paintbrush to erase all the excess stuff as I explained before now this is your final creation um, leave a rating if you liked and and leave a comment if this helped in any way shape or form help you make thumbnails for videos or something like that um, or just make you a fabulous artist without actually drawing a honey badger on Mickey Mouse in paint or anything and uh, yeah subscribe if you're new um, and I hope thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time bye bye